They didn't want me to have a DXP car, so I made sure I got two DXP cars. Another one. in uh, the middle of the field where the first DXP car was delivered. And this one, a little bit of a different story with that undercarriage damage. So let's see how easy or hard it's gonna be to uh, pull this baby off the uh, trailer here. Of course we keep on going, though everybody knowing the truth about our way we tied and loosens up, I'm sorry. Be cool, go on and fake it. We still know we will break it. We make the same mistakes we always made. And now let's face it. This wouldn't be a proper pizza car video if I didn't bring up Copart. Copart is where I buy all of my project cars, and it's where I bought both of these DXP cars ridiculously cheap. All of you know that I paid only $525 for the first one back there, and this one, I only paid $825 for. A total steal. Here, let me play you a clip from the auction. Sold. Now, Copart doesn't just have wrecked or salvaged title cars. They have clean title cars, donated cars, power sports, motor boats, you name it, they have it. They have tens of thousands of vehicles in their inventory. Check them out at the link in the description box below. And if you wanna see the same exact listing that I saw when I bought the second pizza car, I've put in the item number right below the link. All you gotta do is search for it there. And a huge thanks to Justin, a viewer of the channel who sent me the link to this pizza car. Without him, I would never found it. As you guys can see, it's pretty darn incognito. If we compare our original car to the new edition, we could see that the wrap has been completely removed. We even see where a little adhesive was left over where the car used to say DXP. These are all proprietary emblems that uh, Roush installed on the car, and it's pretty difficult to get. I do still have the Domino's logo wheel center caps on the passenger side, but they've been removed from the driver's side as you're about to see. The topper on top of the vehicle that lights up, that's also been removed. But one thing that this car has that was damaged on the original is the front grill. You see this grill, well, it's not really a grill, it's just a cover for the Chevy emblem. This is original, that is also original Chevy. That little piece of plastic was proprietary. It's something that I've had a hard time getting to put back on this car, but I'm still looking at alternatives. And of course, as you can see, it used to say Domino's. It doesn't any longer. The signature piece to the DXP car though is still intact on this car, and it's the warming oven door. Now the battery is completely dead on this car, as most of these auction car batteries are. So we're gonna have to get a jumper box to see if the car starts 
and that warming oven door still works. Now before we see if this car will start, let me tell you exactly why I think it was totaled out. It starts right here in this corner where this wheel is absolutely destroyed. Underneath there, I got a good glimpse of it while it was on the transport truck. The control arm is completely bent and it's separated from where it mounts to the knuckle. Where the control arm mounts to the subframe is actually in pretty good shape. It shouldn't be that difficult of a fix. The brakes still have pressure, so the brake line didn't even separate. When the control arm let loose, that likely sent the wheel and tire up into the fender where it damaged it pretty well. The rocker panel has just a slight amount of damage in it, nothing too bad. The door itself is in great shape. If we come around here, we look underneath the bumper cover which was detached this is the windshield washer reservoir and that's not even cracked so really our damage didn't extend into the engine bay anywhere everything i've seen on the front end of this car with the exception of the bumper that is a little bit cracked on the underside uh, everything is in good shape now this bumper could be repaired but it's so inexpensive we're likely just going to replace it now, i don't think that that front corner damage was enough to total this vehicle out it's what happened inside here see the airbag deployed not only on the passenger side but if i come out here you can see the driver's side curtain airbag went too which you guys know from watching my videos locks up the seat belts the passenger side seat belt is completely locked up if we come over here to the driver's side it's completely locked up as well and it's also not retracted which means the driver, once again, was not wearing their seatbelt when the accident occurred. The locked up seatbelts, the blown airbags, the damage that those airbags caused to the headliner were likely enough to push this car over the edge and total it. As I've shown you guys before, repairs on the interior of cars when it comes to seatbelts and airbags are very expensive. So you might wonder, is that gonna make it an expensive repair for me? Not really. I still have this thing right here. This is a Hurricane Irma flooded Chevy Spark that I bought from the salvage auction for only around $1,500. With the exception of one drive axle and the body panels in the front, everything else I need to repair the new DXP car is in here. So parts costs are going to remain extremely low. Well, instead of getting the jumper box, I just decided to buy a whole brand new battery. So let's hook this guy up here and see if the car starts. It was listed as it starts on Copart. It was not listed as a run and drive. So I have no reason to doubt that this car uh, doesn't start. And I did check the dipstick over there for oil. And there was definitely oil in the crankcase. All right, new batteries in, key. Let's put it in the ignition. And uh, let's start her up. Sounds perfect. Sounds just like my other one. The only light we have is the airbag lights. So that means the mechanics are likely 100% in this thing. And I mean, the windows go down and up. Radio seems to be working. AC. The AC even works. All the hard modifications of this car are left intact. The raised floor back here, the custom drink carrier, there's the box for the warming oven. And uh, look, check this out. Somebody left their work visor in here. Now this is what I'm most anxious to find out. Does the warming oven door still work? You see, this warming oven door and all the other proprietary parts on the DXP car were installed and provided by Roush. You can actually order replacements to refurbish a car like this through Roush. If you're a licensed Domino's franchise owner that also has a DXP car. I am neither of those. So getting these sort of parts is near impossible. Now you can open this warming oven door one of two ways. You can either press the button here on the key fob or there's a button right on the B pillar when you open the driver's side door. Let's go ahead and try the key fob. Three, two, one. Ugh, that didn't sound good. All right, you can hear the latches moving. And with a little shimmy, it opened. Wow, what a depressing sight. Instead of seeing a nice, fresh, hot pizza, we just see this curtain airbag in the way. Although, the red LED light does still work. Um, my guess as to why this is not opening, either there needs to be some grease on the latch here, or the shock that pops the door open is a little bit worn out. And the shock replacement is not a big deal because that's a pretty common part. Even though our new DXP car is completely naked of its Domino's theme wrap, the custom drink holder and the warming oven still make it a DXP car at heart. One that we can completely replicate off the original or something we can look at as a blank slate. We can go and do anything we want to this car. Let me know what you think we should do in the comments section below. Again, a huge thanks to Copar for partnering with me on this video for having amazing cars like the Domino's DXP cars. 
and Justin for sending this link. And if you ever see anything interesting, be sure to send it my way. Thanks a whole lot for watching and I will catch you very soon. They knew I was shooting another pizza car video, so instead of one getting the pizza this time, they all showed up.